Hello everybody, welcome to my channel Crypto Explorer. In today's video, I will go over the Loki project. How to set up your wallet, encrypt, backup, and restore your wallet. Loki is a fork of Monero and aims to build upon the Monero code by keeping Monero's privacy features such as ring signatures, ring confidential transactions, and stealth addresses, and add features unique to Loki. Some of those features are service nodes rewards and service nodes applications. Operating a service node for rewards require, requires a minimum amount of coins, but unlike most coins that are similar to this, what most call master nodes, the amount um, required to operate is not fixed. Service node applications, SNAPs for short, is their form of decentralized apps and their first snap will be Loki Messenger, an end-to-end -end encrypted private messaging service. Loki has a coin supply of 150 million and uses um, the Kryptonite hashing algorithm. And you can find more about it by visiting their website, uh, loki.network. And you can download their white paper here and get all the technical aspects of the project. And that's about it. Let's get started. To get your wallet set up on Windows, first you must go to their website here at loki.network. And then I found it easier to go and get the, the GUI, the graphical user interface wallet, by clicking on their Bitcoin Talk thread. And from there, you can scroll down. And over here, you see there's the GitHub for the Loki GUI. Just click on that. And click on Loki GUI dash Win64 uh, zip file to download. I'm going to click Save as because I'm going to save it on the desktop. Selected the desktop and click Save. Now, it is recommended to turn off Windows Defender because it's it will flag it, or it may, because um, the, let me close here. Because um, they're in the wallet, it does have mining capabilities. So I'm just going to uh, turn it off. Off. And then click close. So let's minimize. I'm going to right click the zip file that we downloaded and select extract all. And then extract. And once it's done extracting, we can start the wallet software. And just a little bit more. About five seconds more. Okay. Now it's done extracting. We're just going to double click on the folder that it is in and we are going to scroll down and we're going to see this file, Loki wallet dash GUI. So in the instructions to set up the wallet, it is rec recommended to run this file as admin. So we're going to right click and select run as administrator. And then when we're prompted, we're going to click Run. And you're going to see this little flashing here. So we can click on that. And I'm going to click Yes. So sometimes it takes a while for it to pop up. Um, I found like uh, depending on the, the the computer, this is a virtual machine, so the specs on this is not very high, 
so it does take a little longer for it to show up. As you can see here, there it is. So if you get this uh, crash of the, the Loki wallet, there's a couple things you can do. Um, it's mainly because the may, possibly the specs of the machine that you're running it on is um, very low so or not high enough. So what they do recommend is to create a bat file and we can do this by clicking new and we'll do the text document and we're going to call it um, start dash low dash graphics dash mode and then we need to make it a, a, a bat file so we need to go view and check file name extensions. So this is the file that we created, start low graphics mode. And we're gonna change that TXT to BAT. And then click yes. And then I'm gonna right click it and select edit. And I'm going to copy this at echo off and then set and I'll put this in the description and then we're going to save it. So instead of running the file here, we're going to just run this bat file. And there you go. So the Loki wallet is running. It's taking a little time to load. As you can see, we're going to select English. And we're going to make sure we don't check these. And then we're going to select Create a New Wallet. So here is the name of the wallet. You can change it to whatever you want. This is your seed phrase. So what I do suggest is you open up a notepad and copy this down. So I'm just going to call it low key seed. And if you click this button, it copies it to the um, clipboard and then we're going to paste it. Let me just do word wrap so you can see it all there. So this is what we, you'll need to restore your wallet. And if uh, you ever, if the computer crashes or whatever, this is your seed. So let's click this arrow to continue. Now we can give this wallet a password. I'm gonna give it a simple password here. So this is kind of like encrypting the wallet file. And whenever you open it, you do need to enter this password. And then we're going to make sure this is checked to start automatically. Click next and click here, use Loki. And I'm just going to maximize this. So we're waiting for the, uh, the wallet daemon to start. Now, if it doesn't start automatically, there's a couple of things you can do. You can see over here, we're gonna click allow access for the Windows firewall. If it doesn't start automatically here, you can click this button to start it, um, this uh, link here, or you can go back to the folder and double click this to start it manually. But we're gonna give it an opportunity to start properly. And it started. So now it is synchronizing. Let's open it all the way. So we're in full screen mode. You can see it's synchronizing. So let's also do this. Let us get the address because to get your address, click here. This is the receive. 
this is your receiving address and you can click here to copy it so if you want to give your address to somebody this is the address you will be giving and then over here you can create a new one etc so that's basically it to get your wallet set up you're all just got to wait for it to synchronize you can start receiving uh, coins through this address um, and just start using Loki now next bit, next part we're gonna go over restoring the wallet so before going to restoring the wallet with the seed just wanted to let, show you that um, by default it does save the wallet files in my documents and it besides saving this it would, probably is a good idea to also to save your wallet files and keys onto a USB disk. So if we go to, let's go here, documents, you'll notice by default, in the default location, there's a Loki folder, wallets, and this is the one I created. And these are the wallet file and the keys file. So besides having the, the seed phrase, you could also um, save the actual digital files. So let's uh, get to the restoration part now. Hey, okay, so here we are with a fresh new wallet, our backup seed key or seed phrase. And just to restore it, for me, the easiest way is just to go to click here, English. For whatever language, click Restore Wallet. And then copy and paste your seed. Copy, paste. Click Next. Give it a new password. Next, and next, and then use Loki. And that's pretty much it it um, at this point um, I would say it's safe to start receiving coins into this wallet because you have a backup and you've confirmed that the backup works oh yeah let's go to the address receiving address just to make sure they match so here this is the same wallet okay well, that's it. Thank you for watching.